Welcome to another episode of Watercolor Sketchbook Series, where I teach you how I paint with watercolors in my sketchbook. If you missed my last episode, you can check it out in the link in the description box. Today I'm going to paint peonies in a very loose technique. The challenge of the day is to use a water paintbrush with a limited color palette. Today I'm going to use violet red and caramel, indigo and cadmium yellow. So fill up your water brush like this and you'll also need a paper towel to wipe off the pan. I'm gonna swatch the paints to show you which ones I'm gonna use. I would suggest to drip some water so it's wet. I do wash my brush in water, even though I have water here, uh, to clean my brush in between. To mix some of the colors, I'm also going to use this. For my reference, I couldn't find exactly the flowers that I want to use and I mean the best thing would be to actually have the real flower there so you can paint, but I don't, so I'm going to use a reference for this. I found a couple that I like the colors, so one of them was this one, and then Another one is this one. I like the shape of this one. And then for the leaves, um, something similar to this. I mean, we're not gonna copy a photo. Just need to look at how the shape of the flower so we have an idea of what the flower looks like. But we don't really need to copy it. I wanted to show you how I'm gonna mix the green. the green very pigmented colors again I'm using my st. Petersburg watercolors but you can use any colors you own that would work too but what I like about them they're very pigmented before I start painting I'm gonna do a quick sketch of I'm gonna add water since I was using the paintbrush, it has a little bit of pigment, but it's totally fine. Doing this, adding water. The best thing would be actually to use a bigger brush, but we're challenging ourselves to use just the water brush. So, like for instance, if you're traveling and you didn't bring your brushes, but you brought this one. So I'm gonna let the water sit a little bit. The water sucked in a little bit and has a, like a little, little sheen to it, which is good. I'm gonna start adding my pigment. I'm gonna take a little bit. The way I'm painting, I'm trying to mimic the petals of the flower. In the picture, I don't really see a lot of yellow in there, but I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow because it's a balance between warm and cool. And when we add yellow, it makes the flower seem more real. And this one actually has a lot of yellow. too dark I'm just diluting it I'm washing wiping it and pressing a little bit of water so too much 
much pigment. I'm wiping it if it's too much. And it's really fine to have sometimes a lot of pigments because when it dries, it gets lighter. Well, this is kind of doing its thing. I'm gonna start on the leaves. I'm gonna add yellow on each of them. I'm gonna add the green that we pre mixed. really mind pink going into the green because I think it's pretty and the watercolor loose this kind of technique is very loose so it's really fine that the colors mix all right so while these are drying I'm gonna wash my paintbrush. I'm gonna reload the water. See, I actually used up a lot of water, and this is gonna dry while we're loading it with water. Alright, so I loaded it in water. Now I'm gonna take the darkest red, which is violet rose that I have here, and I'm gonna start adding the dark shadows. So first I'm gonna try out the pigment on my napkin here. This is the color that I want. The flowers are somewhat complicated and you can't see the shadows very well, but what I'm trying to do is mimic lots of petals. I think this is too violet for me, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of red. And if I don't like it, I can just wipe it off. And when I'm painting, I'm not pressing out water because this is already pretty wet. like to add another petal here. So this one is going too much. I'm gonna wipe it off. So if it's going in the wrong place, like these are extra petals, I'm gonna wipe them. Oh, this is good.
So while it's drying, I'm gonna fix my leaves. darkening my leaves everywhere. This one, the red moved into it, so I'm gonna So now we're gonna we're gonna darken some of the shadows of the flower. To do that, I'm gonna mix my violet rose of red and a little bit of indigo. You can see the color. So again, I'm not pressing on the actual brush because I don't want the water to come out. I want it to stay pretty concentrated. And instead of painting like this, I'm gonna paint like that to get my tip very accurate. So it's getting almost ready. And this looks pretty good, but it needs more contrast right here. I'm gonna create the darkest color.
lot of times when painting watercolors, sometimes the white is lost and it's a little bit hard to see like here, like some of the whites are lost compared to what I left here. I would suggest to, to use a white marker or a white gel pen to add some of the light that is missing. The way to do it is figure out where you want to add it. So I want to add a little bit just right here. And I think that's it, we're done with the flowers. Please give it a big thumbs up if you like this kind of content, so I'll know to make more videos like this one. Don't forget to subscribe, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye!